All right, in this video, we're going to create our HTML template, which is going to serve as our user interface for the Gaming Place uh, e-commerce application. All right, so this is going to be uh, a basic, it's going to be a bootstrap template. All right, so you can see it has very familiar bootstrap qualities, the nav bar, uh, the list groups. All right, so um, we're just going to take the sample template that Bootstrap gives us and just tweak it a little bit to our liking. Um, if you do not, if you're not interested in watching me create the HTML and CSS, um, just use the project files and feel free to move on. All right, so we're going to go to getbootstrap.com. All right, and download Bootstrap. Okay, and then open that zip file and I have an empty folder on my desktop called TGP underscore HTML this is gonna serve as our HTML template alright so in the bootstrap folder we're just gonna bring everything over for now alright and for the CSS folder we want to get rid of everything except bootstrap dot CSS alright and let's also create a custom dot CSS style sheet all right now JavaScript um, I'm just gonna get rid of the minified version and let's create an index page index.html All right, so I'm going to open up index and I'm going to go to on the bootstrap site. I'm going to click on examples and then the starter template. And we just want to do a control U and copy all the source. All right, uh, and then paste that in index. And I'm also going to click on, not that, um, right here, <coughs> excuse me, starter template CSS. And I'm just going to grab this for now and put that in our custom CSS file. Okay, we'll save that. Go back to the index page. And we're going to do a few things here. I'm going to get rid of the description, author, icon. We don't need that stuff. You can keep it if you want. Title, let's just change that. I'm going to change it to the gaming place. This link to the bootstrap uh, CSS, I'm going to get rid of that, the min, because we just kept that one uh, bootstrap.css file. And we want to make it so it's just going to the CSS folder. We don't need any of this. And then for the second one here, starter template, let's replace that with CSS slash custom.css and we're gonna get rid of all this here we don't need that alright so now we're moving on to the navigation uh, I'm gonna change the the brand or the logo here call it the gaming place and I'm just gonna point that to the index.html file for now same thing with this home link and then change about to create account and for now that'll just go to register.html and get rid of this contact link all right so I want to put a login form here as well so I'm gonna go back to the bootstrap site and I want to go to the nav bar uh, snippets so I think it's components and nav bar all right, so you can see this example here. They have a search box. Uh, that's what I want, so I'm going to copy that form, which is right here, and go ahead and put that um, right under the UL. Okay, and I'm going to change this nav bar left to right, and we can get rid of this roll, and then for the the input we're going to add a name and that's going to be username and then for the placeholder let's just put enter username 
All right, now we need a password field, which is also going to be wrapped in this form group div. So I'm going to just copy this and then change this here to a password. Type is going to be password. And then the placeholder, enter password. And then for this button here, um, let's give it a name of submit. And change the submit text to login. All right, so that should do it for our nav bar. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the, the actual application. I'm going to open up the index HTML page. All right, so we get our nav bar. Now we need to um, create our columns because we're going to use the, the bootstrap grid system. All right, basically, um, this sidebar here will be a, a four column div, and then this main area will be an eight column div. Okay, so let's put those in here right in the container. First, we need a row. And we'll do the sidebar first. So that's going to be col md 4. All right, and then we want the main area, which is going to be col md 8. All right, so that gives us our sidebar and our main area. Now to speed things up, I'm going to be pasting, copying and pasting snippets of code in here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to put in in the sidebar is going to be our cart uh, cart block. So let me paste that in, and I'll go over it real quick. Basically, we have a div with the class of cart block. It's going to have a form. The, the action and things like that aren't really important right now. This is just for display. Um, and then we're going to have a table with some cell padding, spacing. Um, we're going to have the quantity, the item, and the item price. Uh, we have nothing here now because we will be, uh, our application will dynamically generate that stuff, so we don't need it here. Uh, and then just an area for the total. All right, and then under the table, we just have the submit button. Okay. Um, actually, we have two buttons. One is an actual button to update the cart. So we can update the quantity and click update cart. Next one is just a link going to just going to the cart. All right. So if we save that, we can take a look. All right. So not too pretty. Uh, that's because we, we're going to be adding our own custom CSS. Um, so next, I want to do the Basically, these are list groups when, when using Bootstrap. Uh, even, we can even go and check them out, check out the syntax. Click on list group. Basically, this is it. All right, so you want a class of list group. Uh, the list items have a class of list group item, and that gives it this, this uh, padded border look. Um, actually, we're using links, so we'll be using this format. Uh, all right, so let's go back to index and go below the cart block, which ends right here. So we want to go right under that. And by the way, we're also using panels. All right, so panels allow us to have this, um, I guess, this heading right here and wraps around the list items. And you can see that code as well in the, um, where is it? Panels, where are they? Right here, panels. Okay, so basically you can have a panel with a heading. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so I'm just going to paste that in right under the cot block. So it starts here. And you can see we have a couple classes here. And then uh, the panel heading, I threw in this, okay, this panel heading dark. And that's just so we can actually make the heading dark like this all right and then we have down here a different color heading and over here we have a green heading so just just to kind of break it up a little bit 
uh, category H3 categories, and then we have, like I said, the list group. Okay, with our categories, um, and then right under that, we're going to have this most popular list group. So let me just grab that real quick. I'm going to paste that right under. Yeah, right under here. All right, so if we save it, let's take a look. All right. So when we do the custom CSS style sheet, uh, we'll make this dark and we'll make these links um, not blue. All right. All right, so next we have the main area where these games are. Basically, we're going to do a grid inside of a grid. Um, so we're going to have three. Uh, three four column divs all right so I'm just gonna paste this in it's just all static content um, so right under here I'm gonna paste and we just have a bunch of um, games that um, all have all start with a four column div and also I threw in the class game for each one all right so you can see we have the game title uh, this is the game image, which is linked to product.html for now. And then the button we have, um, add to cart. Now you'll notice I don't have the quantity input in this HTML. Uh, I'm, we're just going to add that when we actually um, create the application, when we create the view. All right, so let's just save this and see what, what it gives us. actually hold on oh we put that in the sidebar let me just uh, undo that and we want to make sure we put it inside of this div with the call with the eight okay save that all right so uh, our images we need our images so I'm actually going to just grab those from the application uh, create an images folder All right, let me just grab those images. These will be in your project files. And I'm not sure if it... All right, yeah, it just goes to images and then the game. All right, so there's our games. The price, obviously, this doesn't look very good. Uh, we're going to fix that in our CSS. All right, so um, next we just want just a, a simple footer. I'm going to go under the container div, go right under it, and paste in very small amount of code. It's just another row. Gave it the class of footer. has a container within it, and then just a paragraph with whatever our copyright. All right, so uh, one other thing I'm going to do is move this JavaScript here to the top. So let's just grab these two uh, script tags, and I'm going to get rid of these comments. And I'm just going to go paste them up here under our CSS style sheets. And also we need to change this link. Um, we just want it to go right to the JS folder. And we're not using the minified version, so I'm going to get rid of that. I actually don't even think we need this Bootstrap JS file, um, but I just like to keep it just in case we want to add a slider or something like that. All right. So that should complete the HTML. All right. So we have our footer, and obviously we still need to style this. So I'm going to end the video here. And next we will create the HTML for our other pages and also the CSS so we can uh, actually make this look presentable.